It's 10 a.m. here in Harare, Zimbabwe's capital. Welcome to ZTN News Blitz. A look at our top stories. Harare budget, our hands are clean, says government. Zim civil servants seek answers on loan facility. Trump bans European visitors. And in sports, Highlanders legend Barry Daka dies. Zimbabwe's capital Harare has had its 4.5 billion Zimbabwe dollar 2020 budget approved by government. The city fathers have been accusing central government of not approving their budget, arguing that this was crippling service delivery. So who will the city fathers blame now? Only time will tell. Most areas in the capital have had dry taps for years and broken sewer pipes that are hardly attended to, while uncollected garbage has left residents at the mercy of medieval diseases such as cholera and typhoid. Local government, Public Works and National Housing Minister July Moyo told ZTN that his hands are clean. The budget has been approved and certainly the devolution funds from last year have been given to all the local authorities, 703 million uh, Zim dollars uh, that was distributed in November, December to all the local authorities and uh, the ones for this year as you know the budget process for Ministry of Finance to start distributing sometimes takes uh, a little bit of time because it's an, on an accrual basis but uh, they have money from the last year's devolution funds and uh, we know that for sure uh, we are giving them devolution funds for this year. Zimbabwe civil servants who want to hold talks with their employer to get clarification on the recently introduced Government Employees Mutual Savings Fund, GEMS. GEMS is a voluntary scheme which mobilizes savings by government workers to create wealth for the benefit of members while in employment and when they leave work. Civil servants willing to join the scheme will be expected to contribute 2.5% of their salary towards the fund, but government workers feel there are some grey areas which need to be cleared first. Apex Council General Secretary David Zatsunga speaks. We still believe that we, we need uh, to uh, sit down with the employer so that we can be properly appraised on, on, on what exactly it is that they intend to do. Uh, certainly there is need for us to go back onto the table given the inflation and uh, look at the second quarter as a possible time for another salary injection. Zim dance hall artist Sylvester Chizanga, popularly known as Freeman, has all but accused Zimbabwean artists of being crabs in a tin. He shared his thoughts on social media site Instagram that artists tend to prefer pulling fellow artists down. His post sparked spirited debate among fellow musicians and fans alike. The HKD boss shared a cartoon of Nigerian musicians propping each other while Zimbabwean musicians were pictured elbowing fellow artists to a plunge with the intention of being the only success in the industry. Now, U.S. President Donald Trump has ordered an immediate shutdown of all travel from Europe. Speaking hours after world health officials declared the coronavirus a pandemic, Trump vowed the U.S. will prevail in countering the virus. The new rules will go into effect at midnight on Friday. The White House said the travel restrictions will apply to foreign nationals who have visited 26 European countries, but excluding the U.K. and Ireland in the past 14 days. Legendary former Highlanders player and coach Barry Daka has died. He died this morning, but there was no immediate confirmation on the cause of the death. Daka had a colorful playing career in the 1970s and later on did well as coach for Highlanders, Young Warriors and Rail Stars. Bangladesh completed a 2-0 series victory over Zimbabwe in the second T20 at the Sphere Bangla National Stadium in Dhaka with a nine-wicket win yesterday. Zimbabwe Chevrons had set a total of 119 for seven. Still in sports, UEFA Champions League holders Liverpool were knocked out of Europe's premier club competition in the last 16-second leg tie against Atletico Madrid, which was decided in extra time. In another match last night, French champions Paris and Germans overturned a 2-1 deficit against Borussia Dortmund inside an empty Parc des Princes stadium to reach the last eight. The aggregate score was 3-2.
And that's all we had for you on ZTN News Blitz. Join us again at 1 p.m. for more news. Visit our website, ztn.co.zw, and our other social media platforms. Thank you for watching.